Hi, this is Howard Sandberg. I'd like to give you a tour through our dichroic coating manufacturing facility in sunny Southern California. Not only will you see how our quality dichroic glass coatings are created, but our facility is also home to the Museum of Dichroic Art. Located in our front lobby, we have over 400 items of dichroic art glass. I started this collection in the early 90s because I really wanted to see what our customers were doing with our dichroic glass. Fifteen years later, I now believe we have the largest dichroic art collection in the world. In our collection, you'll see small jewelry type items all the way up to large wall sculptures. So now not only I get to enjoy this beautiful dichroic art collection, but it's just amazing to see the people's faces when they walk through the lobby door for the first time. This is only the first part of our tour, as our customers are just as anxious and just as excited to see our vacuum chambers and the deposition process. This second part of the tour offers a great contrast between the art of creating art glass and the art of creating dichroic glass. Here at CBS we combine art, science, and technology to produce the best coatings in the industry. Back in the late 90s when Nona, Jerry, and I built our second chamber, our goal was to standardize dichroic glass by creating a quality product with consistent colors and a consistent color shift for the artist. And now we have our own facility with several chambers and can keep up with the ever-growing demand for dichroic. Each vacuum deposition chamber that we build has a value of about a million dollars and takes us six months to complete. At the beginning of this two-hour coating process, large mechanical pumps start pumping the air out of the chamber. Then cryo pumps kick in which actually freeze the air as it's being pumped out of the chamber. This airless environment within the chamber produces about 128 tons of pressure on the chamber walls. Blue tubing provides water to cool equipment and the red tubing provides air for opening and closing valves. Customers that tour not only get a first-hand look at a technician loading and unloading the glass, but they also get to see the dichroic coating process itself. Once the technician has cleaned, prepped, tooled, and secured the glass within the chamber, the chamber door is closed tight. This is when six separate process controller computer systems take over. As you look through the porthole window to the chamber, you notice the heaters are heating the inside of the chambers to about 350 degrees as the glass rotates above. At the base of the chamber is the electron beam gun, which provides about 10,000 volts of electricity in the form of a concentrated beam into the crucible of quartz and metal oxides. Prior to coating, the electron beam gun sends a small electrical charge throughout the inside of the chamber while certain gases are introduced. This creates a certain plasma effect across the surface of the glass, which is a type of final cleaning for us. Then, finally, as the E-gun ramps up its voltage, it begins to vaporize the material in the crucible. That invisible vapor then floats up and attaches to the surface of the glass in the form of a crystal structure. After depositing 15 to 30 layers of this material, the glass is removed from the chamber and inspected. And believe it or not, all our colors are made with the same materials, 
we just vary the thickness and the number of layers to produce different colors. One of our favorite glass types to coat is the ripple glass because of its deep texture. During the coating process, the vapor is shadowed, creating multiple colors on the same sheet. In our production room, we also have a large display of the patterns that we create, as well as a 90 and 96 room that customers can come in and browse. And not only do we have full sheets in this room, we also have stringers, rods, and all the tons of packaged products that we create. We offer water jet cut pieces, laser etched images, double coated technicolor images, pinwheels, and in this room we also have dichroic coated frit, starter packs, sample sets, scrap glass, and more. We currently carry over 70 types of art glass that's all cut in house. Sheet glass is not everything we coat though. We do have the ability to coat artwork and other items. I think we've overcome most of these obstacles on how to hold and fix your items for coating. In fact, we've not only coated blown bowls and sculptures, but we've also coated fused artwork, tubing, rods, beads, glass block, frit, bevels, gems, jewels, rocks, druzies, glass panels, plates, dishes, buttons, castings, ceramics, tile, foil, lenses, lighting fixtures, ornaments, jewelry, and more. And speaking of more, here's just a few more items of things that we've coded and or created in the past. We work with artists on a daily basis and are constantly testing and creating. We consider ourselves artists in our own right because we develop new dichroic glass products based on artist input. And we have artists on staff as well to test and work our coatings as our customers do. This is the art of dichroic glass. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of our dichroic coating facility and you now have a better feel for what it takes to create these high-tech dichroic glass coatings. Now that you've seen the actual dichroic coating process take place, this might also help you envision other possibilities with your own artwork as well. We're centrally located in Southern California. In fact, we're just a few miles from Disneyland. So if you're ever in the area, the Sandberg family welcomes you and invites you to come visit with us. Mm -hmm.